Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna show you how to improve your FPS in the new Total War Warhammer 2 game. Uh, first of all, I did a couple of tests. I used my uh, GTX 1070 and I also use an RX 580 uh, for the AMD rig. And I saw that uh, on NVIDIA I was running the game with more FPS with DirectX 11 for sure because Direct 12 isn't better but in beta, uh, with the DirectX 12 I found that I can uh, gain a couple of FPS with the AMD card we know that uh, GCN runs well with the, uh, the DirectX 12 so if you have an AMD card just you should start to test your DirectX because probably you will have uh, more FPS with this so let's start with the graphic setting. Uh, I look in the config file. The config file is pretty messed up, so you can't change really your. Uh, you don't have any special option that you can do to improve your FPS, but you still you have a lot of uh, option in your advanced option the graphic settings. So first of all, texture quality. This one you, I stay at ultra. I got eight gig of video memory, so uh, for me it's not something uh, really important over there. But for sure, if you have two gig or less, go with medium or low for this one. The biggest improvement that you can do, shadow detail here, put it at off, you will just remove shadows in the game. And honestly, ultra, extreme, sorry, to off, I can gain 15 FPS just with this. So it's pretty much crazy, just remove shadow. Uh, for me, it's not something that decreases too much your visual quality and you will gain a lot of FPS. VFX detail, this one, uh, you will have 2 to 3 FPS for each bracket. Uh, with those settings right now, me, I, I, I do my 60 and more easily. So I will tell you what you need to change or not. Uh, this one, 2 to 3 FPS for each bracket. Um, you got pretty cool effect in the game, so don't go too low with this one because for sure you will decrease your uh, visual uh, appearance of the game. Uh, three details, unit detail, I saw 1 to 2 FPS for each bracket, so not that much. Uh, we will see uh, the environment detail will change a lot your FPS, but not necessarily uh, units and even the tree. Uh, depth of field, put it at off screen de deflection, oh, stay at half. Anti aliasing, if you have a low end or mid range computer and you don't have a lot of power, uh, go with FXAA, that's pretty much the basics for anti aliasing. So uh, with this one, you should be fine, but for sure you can go higher if you want. Texture filtering, I'm playing at 8x. Uh, you can do some tests here, 1 to 2 FPS. Uh, Nvidia is uh, handling this one well, uh, better than AMD, so just test it by yourself. But uh, don't go with 8x for sure if you have like a low-end computer for sure. Go with 2x or 3 linear. Water detail, grass detail. I found with those one you can gain a lot of FPS. 3 to 4 FPS for each bracket. So with this, the water and the grass, you can probably gain 12 to 14 FPS. So that's a pretty good chunk with the uh, shadows over there. And you will probably gain your 60 fps when you remove this after that terrain detail and the building detail terrain i saw one to two fps for each bracket building didn't see a, new, a big improvement over there maybe one to two fps ultra to low so it didn't affect much on my boat card my amd or my uh, uh nvidia so that's pretty much it unit size over there uh, i got like one to two fps for each bracket so again, small change, but for sure don't go, don't go with ultra when you uh, struggle to to gain your uh, to get your 60 FPS. Go with medium. Port dull quality. Uh, you got two option over there, 3D or 3, 3D or 2D. Uh, it's a bit like StarCraft 2. You got the same option over there. Um, I didn't see big improvement when I go with 2D. I got 0.6 to 1 FPS uh, more. Uh, with the same like a uh, benchmarking so not <laughs> not necessarily that something that you will see big improvement so stay with 3d and also make sure that v-sync is on check over there really important and uh, this one SSAO ambient lightning and the shadows around object this one you can uncheck it you can gain 2 FPS on your AMD car but I didn't see a big improvement on my Nvidia car so that's about it guys if you have any questions just comment in the YouTube section and don't forget to subscribe peace